Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. It all matters. I'm super grateful. Today, we're asking about should you move on or wait? Uh, we've got pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. just want to remind everybody that I'm doing a giveaway again at 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment if you do want to book with me my emails in the description uh, also if you win the prize my emails in the description <laughs> as long as you identify yourself it's all good uh, and so my gorgeous angels it's time to figure out whether you should stay or should you go now uh, and let's move on to our gorgeous pile number one So pile number one, my gorgeous angels. Should you wait or move on? Should you stay? Should you go? Pile, I just looked down and it was one, one, one. And the death card came out. There may be um, some kind of ending or necessary transformation in here. Uh, heartbreak. Right now... As looking like you should go um, because we have heartbreak we have a need to uh, set a boundary um, we have an inevitable ending where you know there can be transformation and, and moving forward but should you stay or should you go now five of swords bad behavior bad behavior that left that led to a broken heart that led to an inevitable ending to the situation and a needing to like hold strong put up your boundaries so i'd say pile number one uh i feel like there's a need there uh, and i looked down at that point and it was two 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 on the counter on so, yeah, I'd say for my gorgeous pile number ones, you shouldn't wait. Should you wait or move on? Yeah, I, I feel like this, you know, dishonest behavior killed this. And there's a need to have this strength and self-control. Don't ignore the signs on the road in your or in your life, obviously. I feel like, well, you know, our emotions are interesting. So sometimes our emotions, you know, when we care about somebody, we may not want to let them go. But I feel like there's maybe too much here to ignore. If you never ask for what you want, you quite never, uh, you quite definitely will never know. So... Is this relationship what you want? Is this relationship, if this person, you know, stays this exact same person, is this the relationship? Is this the kind of relationship that you want? Now, maybe you can ask for what kind of relationship you want with this person, but that doesn't require this person to get their stuff together. And if they don't, I feel like you need to be asking the universe for what you want and not ignoring what you're seeing in front of you. Should you wait or move on? Patience. This one, I feel like you have been waiting, but everything in here indicates you should move on and I have patience, which is waiting. Why is this patience here? Why is this patience here? I feel like there's a need to, I mean, maybe the patience is somewhat foolish, but I feel like there, there just needs to be a brand new beginning without, you know, without this baggage. 
So pile on the one, my gorgeous angels. Uh, it does look, uh, I'll, I'll, let me pull some charms. But it really looks like instead of waiting for this, you should be taking some kind of risk dealing with the unknown because isn't the unknown better than your heart being broken and, you know, awful behavior? I've got the dinosaur. I feel like the dinosaur is sometimes a need to outgrow things. Um, the dinosaur is ideas that may no longer serve you. That, you know, you may not be able to evolve with those same things. I've got fire and responsibility. Also, that's interesting. You've got a lot of charms here. With um, I feel like you do need to be aware of anything that you have contributed to the situation. It does seem like, you know, this person probably has brought you a lot of pain. But you may have to consider if this person has only brought me pain or has mostly brought me pain, why, what part of me is waiting for this? I do see that there is a lot of passion here and maybe some intoxication with, but I've got, oh my God, and sadness. I don't, I feel like you should ask, <laughs> like, is this really what you want? Because I've got sadness. I've also got, oh my God, it's like sad, shocked. But at some point, I feel like there is this need to have this patient defense of self. Because even if you're a loving, caring person, it just doesn't mean that people should be able to act in really poor manners towards you. Good fortune. This connection. Does this connection bring good fortune? I've also got the cat and the kitten. Um, I don't know if some of you are looking regarding a, maybe a parental situation or something like that. Maybe it's not a romantic situation. Or this, or even if there is a romantic situation, it may have to do with maybe things that you may have dealt with in childhood, maybe things that you have normalized for yourself that aren't actually normal, um, or at least not healthy. But I feel like there's a need to know that there is a real core problem here and that you have a key, you have a key to open this up, you have the key to move forward. And I feel like you have a lot of passion in this relationship, but it doesn't look like you have a lot of health in this relationship. So I'm getting like, you may have been really patient, but there's a point where you just need to move forward. I don't know why I just put my hand up to the camera. I apologize. I have a lot of letters this time. I've got G, Z, O, T, T, two T's, as well as a G. And with the seven, now, the seven could be the seven of swords, and I'm, I'm getting, like, there is a real significant ending here, and there's been bad behavior and heartbreak. So seven of swords could be sneaky behavior, but also seven is spiritual growth. So, I mean, it's, I feel like if, when and if you're willing to move forward, this will be an act of spiritual growth for you. 
But I feel like you shouldn't just be staying in this because for whatever reason it's good enough at this time. I feel like you'd need to not ignore what's happening. So hashtag five of cups regret. Does this person feel regret towards you? Are you, I, I think that a, a question you need to ask yourself, are you holding on to this really, uh, on to this because it makes you happy or because you have some kind of regret or you feel like you will have some sort of regret because between the five of cups which is just looking at what's been lost and not looking at what that silver lining that you might have in the uh, and the three of <laughs> the three of swords which is heartbreak and the five of swords that causes heartbreak i feel like this one is a strong yes you should move forward like you know you should go um, because even if this person is going to make some kind of transformation, um, why are they going to do it if you just do whatever they want you to do? Um, where there's no consequences to their actions, where they can continue to be awful. So, so pile number one, strongly, should you go? Yeah, you should go. Pile number two, my gorgeous angels. Should you stay or should you go? Ten of Pentacles. Should you stay or should you go? Ace of Swords. Should you stay or should you go? Five of Pentacles. There's a really interesting dynamic here because there is a potential new beginning, but there's going from like abundance and real loss, like everything you want fulfilled versus nothing that you want fulfilled. And there's some kind of truth in the middle of that. Maybe there needs to be a truth said Maybe there needs to be honesty and communication between the two of you. But this can clearly go one of two ways. Should you wait or move on, devil? There is something in this situation that, like, I feel... It's like there's something in this situation that is unhealthy. Got the king of pentacles. All right. I feel like there there's a really unhealthy behavior that needs to be cut out of this situation for you guys to have abundance. The downside is, uh, if it's on your partner's part, then they have to make that change and you can't make it for them. If it's on your part, yeah, you can break out of a nasty cycle, but there needs to be a decision and there needs to be the mental clarity to realize that this lack isn't what you guys want. So, Ace of Truth. I feel like there is a decision that needs to be made in this scenario, and that decision needs to be regarding truth and integrity. And whatever that decision is, is going to affect whether this is a, a relationship well, they're, I don't know, it's stay or go, wait or move on. What, whether this is a relationship, whether this is a job, whether this is something 
that offers you a lot of abundance or not even getting your needs met. It's like there's really no, it's like there's no middle here. There's absolutely not getting needs met or real abundance and stability. So this is a little bit more complicated on whether you should stay or should you go. I feel like somebody isn't seeing the situation clearly and they need to uh, get some clarity. With the King of Pentacles, there is an ability for somebody to step up and be this really um, good partner, but we can't ignore the devil. And pardon me, just dropping things as I do. We can't ignore the devil, which is addiction, possessiveness, uh, obsession, overdoing things, like, uh, or just negative cycles. So there does need to, somebody needs to get clear regarding some kind of negative cycle and they need to do something different. Clarity on the devil. Two of wands. The, the decision hasn't been made yet. Eight of Swords came out. It's like there's a real significant decision that needs to be made for there to be any abundance in this situation. And this devil energy is causing there to be stagnation because people are acting as if unhealthy things are true. People are acting as if whether it's you, whether it's your partner, or whether it's both of you, but I feel like this this situation I look down and right now and it's 3.33 p.m., so three might be significant to you. But what I'm getting is there is an Achilles heel in this situation. There are something that if it's not dealt with, if there aren't decisions made, um, then what can be an absolutely abundant situation will not be an abundant situation. Should they stay or should they go? Yeah, I feel like right now there's just a lot of conflict here. Even if, you know, even if you are not the source of the conflict, even if you're not really engaging in the conflict, right now your what you want out of the situation may not be the same. And there really needs to be clarity, honesty, and integrity here. So I feel like if it's possible I think that it's important to get on the same page about what you want out of the situation here. Now, of course, if this person isn't talking to you, that's clearly not something that's healthy and it is causing there to be stagnation uh, between the two of you. Um, and there's just, it's like, it feels like there's somebody in this situation that is not making necessary choices. Um, and what people often fail to realize is if you fail to make a choice, you're still choosing. You're just farming out what will happen to you to other people, other situations, instead of taking control. So, while... It doesn't feel like this person is absolutely terrible. Uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't seem like you guys cannot have abundance together. It looks like you can. Um, but 
the right decisions need to be made. Um, it can't just be no decisions made, no actions taking, no mo forward movement. Because at that point, you're just dealing in lack. Should they stay or should they go? Balance. I feel like if there's anything that can be done to balance this situation, you can absolutely have abundance. Um, but if somebody is just fighting you up in their toxic behavior, you know, it's like there needs to be clarity and action and a new beginning for there to be this abundance. So if you feel like you guys can work together and balance with each other, then it might be worth um, putting the time and energy in this relationship. But I, I feel like it's always important to remember that you can't do somebody's spiritual growth for them. You can't make somebody's decisions for them. So, yes, there is an opportunity for a brand new beginning in truth, honesty, that can lead to a really strong, profitable relationship. Whether, when I say profitable, just in case this is a business or, like, but... We all fall, so get yourself back up and keep pushing. So I feel like there is maybe some need for resilience. I don't know if you need to have resilience within this relationship or, you know, move on to, you know, be in. I feel like you are being asked. It's like this is about balance and resiliency. But at some point, uh, you guys do need to get on the same page or you guys need to be working towards the same thing or else you are going to just deal in loss. Like, while there is an ability for things to work out, like, there's also the ability for things to really not work out. So I feel like it, we all fall. And, you know, maybe you may have to figure out you know, if this person starts coming around and acting in the way that they should have, then you may have to consider apolo uh, uh, not apo oh, maybe apologizing if you've done anything, but you need to figure out your own forgiveness. But if this person um, continues to stay in really um, unfortunate behavior... I feel like you need to get yourself up and keep pushing. So what's going on? Should you stay or should you go? You, it, I feel like you should stay if you can create some kind of balance in the situation or if this person creates some kind of balance with you. But otherwise, um, you're only holding on to loss. People get comfortable with who we always were because it makes them feel better. Luckily, you're not living your life for someone else. Two things. You're not living your life for, for this person or anybody else. You are living it for you. And also, this person may have gotten comfortable with things that are not healthy. You might have been got, got comfortable with things that are not healthy just because... We are human beings, we're adaptable, and we get used to everything. So, I feel like don't be too comfortable with this person, and um, this person shouldn't be too comfortable with you. There does need to be a transformation here. And yes, ultimately, you know, being comfortable with each other is going to be seriously important, but it's there does need to be balance. Whatever, um, there is something that does need to be dealt with. There are decisions that really need to be made. Uh, and you guys need to be on the same page in order to balance this situation. 
So this one's a maybe. Maybe you should stay, maybe you should go, but I feel like you should only stay if you can create some kind of balance in the situation or if this person is trying to call, create some kind of balance in the situation. Should you stay or should you go? Should you wait or should you move on home? There is some fox. Yeah. There is... There is potential for things to actually really work out for you in the long term, but um, inconsistent behavior, um, bad behavior, like I feel like there are things that you just can't put up with from this person because it won't create balance between the two of you. Uh, and while there is an ability for you guys to have something permanent, for you to have something stable, it's not going to be, you know, just carte blanche letting somebody behave in a really bad manner. There, you know, like, that needs to be cut out of the equation. And if this, and if somebody is not going to mo modify their behavior to a place where there can be abundance for both of you, then there needs to be a slice made, not literally, but metaphorically. <laughs> like, at what point, like at some point, you need to not be willing to put up with this behavior, and this person needs to decide whether they want a relationship or abundance with you again whether it's romantic or not romantic whether but that future doesn't involve this behavior and if not then there needs to be severing because there needs to be balance Should you wait or move on? Yeah. There really is a connection here, but this connection is damaged. This connection is not functional currently. Dysfunctional behavior. Maybe one of the partner, uh, one of the people in this situation is acting in a very dysfunctional manner, but there can be abundance here, but not the way that it's happening right now. <laughs> Like, there's, uh, this is deformed from what it could have been. And there is an ability for things to come back into alignment. But one person in this situation needs to choose. Uh, and certainly can't be coming in and out of this situation and acting super dysfunctional. And even if they're acting dysfunctional because they, they really have some issues, you're not responsible for their issues. Just like they're not responsible for yours. Other than, you know, obviously if they're acting badly towards you, it's hurtful and can cause some, um, and can cause us to feel bad about ourselves. But I feel like if, if somebody is acting badly, don't put up with that. And I feel like if you set some limits, either this person will get their shit together or, and then you can have abundance together, or at least you will have set limits on what you will and will not accept and something more in balance will come to you. So there is the pyramid and the pyramid, I always think of Maslow, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, like sometimes we need to work up to being our best selves. But again, we are not responsible for anybody else's best selves. We can't make anybody else into their best selves. So I feel like there, there needs to be some growth here. I've got B. And I've got the happy face. I don't know if you're supposed to be happy, 
But uh, let's look at this happy face, Queen of Wands. I feel like even though there may be something worthwhile in this connection, I feel like you need to be focused on forward for you and for what you want. And I feel like either this person needs to come in and give you balance and deal with their demons or you just keep moving forward. So I feel like there are reasons. I feel like you may not actually be supposed to wait. I feel like you're supposed to move forward and this person may have to get their stuff together in order to catch up with you. And if they do that, then you will be able to have something really solid with them. Uh, but I feel like you should only take this new beginning if they're acting in integrity, if things are balanced between the two of you. So should you stay or should you go? I feel like you should be constantly moving forward towards what you want. And if this person wants to be a part of that, they're going to need to balance their stuff out. Um, and you'll be able to tell uh, by them actually creating balance in the situation. So I feel like, and I feel like if they're not creating balance in the situation, um, if they are, you know, not making decisions, you shouldn't just be waiting around for them to perpetually not make a decision. I feel like if they offer you balance, if they move things forward, but I feel like you shouldn't just be waiting one place for them. I feel like you should be moving forward regardless of what this person is doing. So, yes and no. Um... <laughs> If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two free readings as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers. Be subscribed and comment, and you're in the running for that. If you want to book a reading with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. I check it all the time. That is the best way to get in contact with me. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much, and we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number threes. Should you wait or should you move on? Should you stay or should you go? Four of Wands. Hermit. Knight of Swords. I feel like there is an ability for there to be a real um, strong, stable, reciprocal relationship here. There might be some necessity to look within yourself and take some kind of action because this situation may require work to be fully grounded. Should you stay or should you go? Should you wait or should you move on? Magician. I feel like you need to... I feel like you need to know yourself and realize that you can have what you want, but it requires there to be action and there it requires there to be work. This is not a situation that is going to completely come together without any energy or effort. But it does seem like it will be something that will be worth having. It is something that you can manifest into your life. I feel like I feel like there's a need for you to know that you have all the tools necessary. Because the, the magician does. The magician has all the tools necessary. There, there is an ability for there to be real stability here. But there's a need to... Put in the time, effort, and energy to build that stability. And I feel like there is a need to really know yourself 
because we're all manifesting whether we know it or not. And, um, and knowing really what we want and not just what we fear. Yeah. With the three of cups, I mean, this could be a situation of friends. Um, this could be a situation that hasn't yet become very serious. Or for some of you, maybe you're making a decision on what kind of what person you want to make um, put your time and energy in. I don't know, but I feel like um, there is there's a difference between. It's not that our, you know, serious relationship shouldn't be fun. But there is a difference between what is superficial and what is much deeper. And I'm just looking over in the Six of Pentacles there. I feel like there needs to be real balance, give and take. Generosity in this connection for it to build up into this really steady, stable relationship where you guys could potentially be together for the long term. So overall, this is the most, should you, should you stay? Like, this is the most, like, but I feel like there's a need for you to know what you want so that you can manifest what you want. And also you put the energy and effort into what you want. Because manifesting is going to be good. Actually taking action is going to be a lot better. King of Swords. We've got the Knight of Cor Swords and the King of Swords. Knight of Swords is the fastest action in the, de uh, in the deck. I mean, maybe there's a need for you to really make some decisive action. And... I feel like you also need to go inside and realize what's really important to you. What's fun and what's necessary. Clarity on that three of cups. Because I feel like you do have the ability to have something that would be celebratory. But it would be celebratory and stable. Something that you know, you could have this joy and happiness with, and you can have that stability with as well. Also, the Rose Quartz was on this deck, so, I mean, there is a potential for real love in this connection, uh, but the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands are all, both very decisive figures. The Queen of Wands is somebody who follows their ideas and passions. The King of Swords is somebody that takes action on what they know, takes action on their knowledge. So, I feel like if you want something to happen here, you can manifest it. If you want there to be stability here, it's, it's going to be there. But you need to know what you want. And you need to be willing to take action. And you have to be willing to ground this into reality. Because even if somebody's absolutely just great for you, the real, you know, real day-to-day -day effort needs to go on between the two of you to build something up that is stable. Cosmic connection. This person may have a very significant connection to you. Of course, we have 11. Yeah, I feel like this seems to be a connection that is really worth investing in. This is also often seen as an 11-11 card. We have the one. So a lot of uh, manifestation on the table. Should you stay or should you go? Should you wait or should you move on? 
I'm almost getting like, you're not supposed to wait, you're supposed to take action. Take action and, and put some kind of effort in. Being told no is a gift. Now you know you can move on and do better. Now that is generally a uh, move on card. It literally says move on on the card. I don't know if maybe there was some kind of rejection in this connection. Uh, maybe at some, uh, maybe it was not at a place where that, that this connection was right to come together or maybe there is a, a need to, you know, move on and do better in some way, but I feel like there's some kind of connection. I don't know if it's doing better from this ca connection or just doing better within yourself because we're, we're all humans. Sometimes we mess up. Let social, don't let social media confuse you. You're just where you need to be. I feel like um, it's not going to be perfect for you to really just be focusing on everything that's happening on social media, especially if that's the only way you're communicating with this person. Uh, for a lot of you, I think that there's an opportunity for you to communicate with this person outside of social media. Um, but I certainly wouldn't, you know, take social media to, to mean, you know, the honest, goodness, truth of anybody's life, much less this person's. So I feel like there certainly was some kind of rejection, possibly. There... But yeah, there's, there's a real... This connection offers a real blessing. I don't know. Maybe we even, maybe you might have received rejection from somebody else. So you would have this opportunity to move forward with this other person where you have a better connection. Um, I, that's, give me some clarity on this, please. Some clarity on because this is kind of a rejection is protection kind of card, but I'm really getting blessing, manifestation. I feel like a, there may be a need, uh, a cosmic connection. I feel like there's a deep connection here. I feel like, but maybe this connection requires you to really look at yourself, you know, the parts of you that might be injured or hurt. Um, but it, it just seems like there's work that needs to be put in on this situation for things to happen. So should you wait? Again, I think that there's definitely, there's, it seems like there's value in the situation. Overall, there seems like there's a lot of value in this situation, but it feels like there needs to be actions taken to like really ground things. That, you know, you may have a magical connection, but it doesn't mean that you need to put, it, it, it still requires there to be energy, effort, work. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's not fun, but there needs to be stability and grounding between the two of you. So I'm getting like anything that can be done to create stability and grounding with, between the two of you is going to be helpful. But I feel like being told no is a gift it means that you can move on and do better. I don't know, maybe if you're afraid to give yourself over to this connection because you've had, you know, unhappy things happen. You know, that was an, those were so that you could move on to something better. We say as the writer comes out, which is the beginning the uh, of the Lenormand deck, which is you know, really being able to move forward, starting on your journey, prosper as prosperity, things getting better. So I feel like you may have been told to know at some point and it was to your benefit. I don't know if it was in this situation. Moon and the Eight of Cups. I feel like there 
I feel like you may have some fears that you're going to have to process, deal with, so you can move away from the things that aren't satisfying. And again, if you really feel like this connection is not satisfying, you know, feel free to walk away. But uh, I'm getting that there's a real blessing here. There's a real connection here. There's an, You have the tools to make everything happen, but there needs to be action taken. There needs to be work put in to, to create real stability here. Because, like, you can... You can have the opportunity with somebody that's just amazing for you, but it may never happen if you don't put in the necessary work. Now, some of you, if you feel like you've done everything that you possibly can, you know, maybe it's not yours. Or maybe this relationship or this connection has really forced you to look at yourself and really forced you to learn a lot more about yourself. Um, but I feel like this is valuable, but I feel like you're being asked to take action. I've got the death card. So there's transformation and there could be an ending. I don't know if you've had previously had an ending with this person, with this person, or if there's some kind of transformation you're going to have to go through for your new beginnings that are right here. I dropped my letter, so let me see if I can pick it up. But yeah, um, there is some kind of ended cycle that's ne necessary. I feel like there's some inner work that is necessary here. And not to say that, you, you know, we're all imperfect, but, you know, if, if we're hamstringing ourselves, the great thing about it is... We have the power to take care of that. We have the power to change that. We have the power to say, hey, I subconsciously may have been doing something that isn't serving me and I can do something different. And even if we do, you know, we're just doing it from a place of, you know, we're, we're trying our best to take care of ourselves. We're just sometimes... It's a three-year-old, uh, a part of you that experienced trauma, and they're just doing the best they can with the knowledge that they have. Uh, and, you know, it's not serving you because they're doing the best. Uh, that part of you is doing the best they can with what they have. But there, that greater self-knowledge allows us to build up things and put in any kind of work we need to do on ourselves and walk away from the things that don't serve us. And it's, I don't know if, if I get for the most part that this person does serve you, but there might be something that you need to walk away that doesn't. So I've got I, I feel like there, there does need to be a little bit of focus on self in this pile, focus on what's going on with you realizing that there is a lot of blessings in this situation but there 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 needs to be grounding and i've got a little converse shoe there's a need to like step by step move things forward so i've got a lot of letters here i've got d z j i q r and another r so again j i z is in zebra q r and another R, and two hashtags, and a D. So um, with hashtags, especially with this, uh, I really, if you're going out of your way and just really, if you're, if you're, if you're in any way cyber stalking this person, it's not doing you any good. Uh, it's not giving you accurate information. It's but I feel like this pile is very much about lifting yourself up. I feel about this, something about this connection is helping you become the best version of yourself. Um, but I do feel like you really shouldn't be paying too much to, uh, paying much attention to online. You certainly shouldn't be spending a lot of attention comparing yourself to other people.
and I've got the the wolf now the wolf can be scary and it can even be like the need to be able to tell friend from foe in the moon situation where there's a wolf and the dog but I mean the wolf can be destructive or the wolf can be loyal and I feel like whatever it is about this person they are making you look at yourself they're making you grow they're making you make some important decisions so i don't know if there's been rejection in this connection all I know is that ultimately it looks like there's real benefits to this relationship, but there needs to be grounding in it. Uh, and there needs to be self-evaluation. There needs to be making sure that you're doing what you would want somebody else to do. Um, but certainly not just, you know, paying attention to what somebody does in social media and and confusing that with the whole of who they are as a person and realize that maybe you have had other rejections in your life because those things helped you move away from things that don't serve you so so i feel like for the most part there is really something valuable about this situation, but um, I'm getting that it does require you for you to take some action and for you to do inner evaluation on yourself and, so that, you know, occasionally something hits us in from the subconscious <laughs> and maybe just being aware, aware of what that's bringing up in you and how this can be to your benefit. So I feel like overall, uh, I don't think that you should wait again, but I feel like that there's actively work that you should be putting into this situation to make this something that is steady and stable because it looks like it's really worth the work and effort to do so. That being said, I really appreciate you if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment and you're in the reading, <laughs> in the running for that, in the running for the reading. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. And if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. It, it is the best way to contact me. Uh, and I, I check it all the time. So, oh my gorgeous angels, it's time for pile number four. Pile number four, my gorgeous angels, should you stay or should you go? Pile number four, should you stay or should you go? Knight of Cups, should you stay or should you go? Knight of Wands, should you stay or should you go? Queen of Swords, the Sun, Queen of Swords actually came out first. I feel like um, there may be an offer of romance, maybe even from somebody that you have turned your back towards. And there is some kind of blessing ahead of you. Clarity, should you stay or should you go now? 
I feel like there there is some potential new beginning. Um, I feel like you're going to receive uh, an offer of love and affection, that there is a new beginning, that you are faced towards blessings and prosperity. Clarity on this King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you you may be offered a relationship. I do feel like there's a part of you that might be a little bit cut off, closed off, uh, turned away from this. Nine of Cups. I feel like you have definitely been focusing on your wish fulfillment. Maybe you have really been working towards a new beginning. And the five. I feel like there is somebody that's going to give you an offer uh, that's going to want to have a relationship with you and this might be somebody from the past but I feel like you are really focusing on your happiness and wish fulfillment you're really focusing on joy and happiness um, and either you may have some regrets about this I feel like you may regret having dealings with this person I don't know interesting I'm not a hundred percent sure whether you should stay or should you go on this because I feel like there's definitely like an ability for there to be a new beginning in this cycle with this person but I almost feel like there's a desire on your part to just keep looking forward clarity on the five of cups because the five of cups is things falling over but there's still being some kind of silver lining some kind of thing it's like it's not it's kind of a you know feeling awful but not everything's lost and the death card and the nine of and the nine of pentacles so of course we've got the nine and the nine and the death card i feel like you had some kind of ending with somebody feel like you had some kind of ending with somebody and this person wants to come back um and really be in a steady relationship with you i feel like that the ending that you guys did have between you I feel like you may have ended it to you know because you felt like you really needed to protect yourself you may have ended it because it's the only thing that you could do and maintain self-respect so there's a part of you that even if this person comes along and offers you this really stable relationship even if they offer you this love i feel like there's a part of you that may have trouble accepting that because of how things ended i'm also getting that whether you I, I i'm almost feeling like whether you take this offer or whether you don't take this offer either way you're facing towards happiness you put in the work for self-fulfillment so i feel like 
I, I'm going to pull some more. Should you take this offer given? Should you take this offer given? I've got the Five of Swords. I feel like you're really going to have to pay attention to what their intentions are, what their actions are. Um, you may really not trust this person. Ten, ten, Divine Timing, Wheel of Fortune. There really could be a change in this situation. But I feel like... I feel like one way or another, whether you take this or not, you're moving towards happiness. But I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is changing in your favor. But I do feel like this person may have acted really selfishly, really, really sabotage this relationship strongly. So I feel like you need to be aware of if this person has changed because there definitely is an ability for there to be change. I'm just I'm not sure if this person is just making that change way too late for it to matter. Two of Wands. I feel like I know you're asking whether yes or no, whether I should go or should I stay. And it's probably not what you want to hear that this, this choice is up to you. I do feel like this might be a case of maybe somebody getting their act together, but maybe getting their act together a little too late. But either way, I mean, I do see you moving towards happiness and self-fulfillment. And there is the potential for somebody to be exactly on your same level. Is this a new person? Is this this person? I feel like this is a split pile. For some of you, you know, you may have somebody that's a dishonest person that may come in with another offer, but you're already inclined towards dishonesty and moving towards your happiness. And at that point, let them go. But for some of you, you may have had somebody that would have been a really good match for you. And just, you know, decided, you know, because of their own demons to really mess things up. Uh, and I feel like even in that case, you don't seem, or at least this pile doesn't seem, you know, very sure about taking that action again. Uh, I, because I feel like, you know, I feel like this person may have had chances and you may have really regretted giving this person chances. So just know that I feel like definitely if, you know, if somebody's, you know, I feel like you definitely do need to use your discernment uh, because some somebody here has really gotten their stuff together and is really coming forward with the offer that they should have offered you a long time ago and it just might be too late or maybe you'll give them a shot and there is maybe somebody that you know You know, uh, but even if this is somebody uh, like I feel like whoever you've deal dealt with, you kind of you definitely have some regrets in dealing with them, and then you did um, have to you know choose yourself and choose your self respect at some point. So I feel like either this person is going to come back and be really fair and honest and clear. And they are somebody at that point that might be worth giving another shot to. And even if, even if this is somebody who gets their stuff together, also know that you're not obligated 
to give this person another shot. From what I can see here, you've probably given this person a lot of opportunities. So just know that one way or another, you're moved. You know, you chose your own happiness. You chose your own stability. Uh, you are going to have somebody come back. For some of you, this is just somebody who, this is their modus operandi. And for some of you, they're going to come back and really, you know, be this compatible partner for you. But also be okay. You know, it's okay if they didn't make this decision in a timely enough manner for it to matter. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. I feel like there's there's going to be somebody and they're going to offer you fairness, generosity. I feel like they're going to offer you something. But I don't know if they're offering it too late. And there is a need for you to really deep down and go into your intuition. So if you are dealing with this person who, you know... Maybe you shouldn't make, uh, you know, maybe you shouldn't make that decision to go forward on because, you know, they haven't learned their lesson and, the, you know, like this is just the game that they play. Or if you're dealing with this person who is coming forward grown, um, is going to give you the respect you demand. But there's the part of you, I mean, there's even the part of you is like, why did you have to demand respect from this person? So some of you are, 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 are going to deal with somebody who's going to come around, who's going to be fair, who's going to be honest, who's going to do what they can to um, balance the scales between the two of you. You're going to have to pay attention to yourself, to your intuition on whether this is, because there's a lot of people in this pile, sometimes, uh, somebody might be having somebody come back and they're just up to their own bull, uh, up to the same stuff. The person that's worth taking back is the person that has shown real growth, is being really transparent, is showing you that the respect that you that you have just been unwilling to put up with without and this is going to be somebody who's really going to be generous and fair within the connection but I also feel like even if you choose to move forward without the connection even if somebody finally got their stuff together and I mean finally so incredibly move forward I feel like it's if, if somebody's really putting in the energy and effort really being this honest straightforward clear person that's putting in the thing it's, it's perfectly it's okay to let there be an opportunity between the two of you if it's somebody just playing the same old games absolutely move forward absolutely uh, and it's okay if you move forward, even if this person finally got their stuff together. It's okay. People don't deserve infinite chances from us. Should you... So, I feel like you've already done a lot to move on. Give yourself time. Even if you decide to maybe give somebody another chance because they're really, you know, balancing things for you, they're really being honest, they're really... Give yourself time. You don't need to move things forward at somebody else's pace. Especially if they've made you regret dealing with them. Don't let social media confuse you. You're just where you need to be. I feel like it doesn't really matter how anybody else feels about this. It doesn't matter if 
you know, it doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter about, you know, this person that's, you know, that you just 100% should move on from because they're just this person who does these awful things, you know, it's just a game that they play. It's okay to hate the player and the game. So I feel like, give yourself time. If somebody comes forward with an offer, you don't have to jump on it. Give yourself time. Certainly, if somebody has made you regret dealing with them, at this point they need to prove themselves to you that it's not going to be them doing it. Not a little bit. It's like this is a consistent behavior over time. This is not, well, he did that one nice thing for me, so, you know, it's okay. Because the best apology is changed behavior, but even if this person has finally changed their behavior, if you've moved forward, it's okay. It doesn't matter what other people say. It doesn't matter if I say, ah, oh, this is your true love that you should always be together with. You're certainly somebody that's, you know, if this person gets themselves in this particular place, you're certainly somebody that's going to be very compatible with them. But if you can no longer imagine yourself being happy with this person because of bad behavior, it's like, it doesn't matter. Just let yourself move forward. It's fine. So I've got the the writer. The writer is about moving forward. It's a new beginning. So I feel like one way or another, you're going to have a new beginning. I feel like, you know, you do need to, like, you know, trust your instincts. But I feel like you have been trusting your instincts. You have been moving forward. And I've got the scythe. So either, I mean, you certainly, I feel like you may have had to cut this person out of your life at some point because of bad behavior. I feel like you've done a lot to move forward. I feel like there's a new beginning in front of you. So just know that whether you give this person another ch a chance or not, that's your decision. Um, that you should not feel bad in the least regarding moving forward. In fact, I already feel like you've done a lot to move forward. You've turned, I feel like you turned your back on this for a reason. So I've got, hmm, this is an interesting symbol. It's, it's not quite a division symbol. Maybe that there has been some division between the two of you and, and it's not even quite, it's like, Or maybe it's just, you know, it's almost, if you took the two things on the bottom, it's like the, the face where, you know, the flat smile. If this is no longer making you happy, just move forward. It's okay. You're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> and you're still moving towards happiness and blessings and joy. So just... Don't be afraid of taking the necessary steps forward. If, if somebody has really put things, you know, in it and you, and after a consistent amount of time and energy that you can see that they're actually for real, and if you want to give them a chance after that, you can maybe do that. But for the most part, just move forward. Um, just because you're, you're moving towards happiness and maybe this person disqualified themselves from the blessings that you're going to bring in by their behavior. 
So I feel like there is a significant connection between you and this person. But it's like there it's like maybe this person will come in and start moving together with you in concert in a way that there can be some kind of success here, but otherwise I'm just I feel like either way, even if you do have a significant connection, it doesn't mean you can't move forward by yourself. Again, you don't need to give somebody infinite chances, and if you don't want to, it's fine. It's fine. You're not doing anything wrong. I feel like you learned... You became a much stronger version of yourself throughout whatever this experience is, and you're still moving towards your prosperity. I've got H-I, so like high, and I've also got... Uh, and there was T, so hit... I don't, I feel like that that's uh, obviously something that's not acceptable. Um, but, you know, initials could be H, I, and T, some, somewhere in that, you know. Also, like, with the, I feel like there's, there's, I feel like there is love here, but there's just been a lot of twists and turns along the way. I feel like... I'm really feeling like for a lot of you, you just need to hear that it's okay to move on. Whether this person hasn't gotten their stuff together, even if this person really has got this stuff together, it's okay to move on. It's, you know, like you had to make cuts here somehow because something, you know, not fair was happening. You know, it, it's, so if you want to move on, move on. Don't feel guilty about moving on, not, not even a little. <laughs> uh, if, if somebody really works for redemption, it's also okay if you want to give that to them. But, but I feel like it's not about, you know, it's not about just somebody saying they're sorry. I feel like somebody really needs to show consistent changed behavior in this uh, situation. And in the meantime, move forward. And even if they come back and you just don't want to give them another chance, you don't want to open up again, even if they're doing all the right time things this time, it's like they had their opportunities with you. They're, you know, they're not, they're still responsible for their actions. So don't be confused by social media. Give yourself whatever time you need to. But I'm, I'm really getting like, don't feel bad about moving forward. Because, <laughs> you know, there's going to be a new beginning and you are pointed towards whether or not this person stays in your life or this situation stays in your life, you're still pointed towards success and blessings. And you can make a choice to be with them if you want. Um, but if they've not displaying any change behavior, absolutely move forward. I, I, I really just feel like this, this pile needs to know that you don't really owe anybody. <laughs> you know, like, I mean... We try. It's important to be the best person we're capable of being, but like, I really think that you shouldn't. Yeah, you don't necessarily owe this person, even if they do make the changes, um, because they could have just tra treated you well to begin with. So I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit eight thousand subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment and. Uh, I will give away two then. Uh, if you do want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. It's the best way to get in contact with me. It takes about 48 hours uh, after you book with me to get your reading. So I hope that this helps. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day.